everybody. I am uh, Dr. Firuz Kuru from Uzbekistan. Uh, now I am a fellow in the Fujita Health University Ban Bantan Hospital. I'm going to um, present a presentation about anterior aneurysms. Can you see uh, the screen? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So today, today I am going to present um, about uh, anterior aneurysms and uh, the correlation between uh, comp computational fluid dynamic change and interoperative findings in these uh, aneurysms. As you know, so anterior aneurysms has been well known as a strange and dangerous aneurysm that easily ruptures at the neck during surgery. There is no objective way, device, or tools for predicting rupture of aneurysm so far. But uh, computational fluid dynamics uh, was proposed as a tool to identify the rupture risk. It's, uh, it could give us uh, additional information about this one. About uh, 0 0.3 to 1% of all uh, intracranial aneurysms uh, compose uh, dorsal wall aneurysm. It's very rare and uh, they are divided into blood blister like aneurysm and saccular type aneurysms. And the anterior wall aneurysm is a special clinical entity, the different, different, different from saccular aneurysm uh, on the branching side of internal carotid artery. And the uh, computational fluid dynamics, uh, uh, as um, my colleague uh, mentioned about it, every, everything about the mechanism, I don't want to stop uh, for each of the uh, steps. Uh, and I just uh, want to say that uh, in my study, we studied uh, computational fluid dynamics changes uh, between uh, uh, correlation between them and between the interoperative findings, microscopic and endoscopic. And the aim of the study was uh, to assess and uh, identify uh, the correlation between these, uh, these two parameters. We report a retrospective analysis of 21 patients in the Bantana Hospital during a period of two years from 2017 to 19 for internal carotid anterior wall aneurysms. The all cases were clipping of aneurysm were performed, CFT, computer tomography, uh, DSA, all uh, investigations were performed. Interoperative findings such as uh, microscopic and endoscopic examinations were carried out. And uh, out of these uh, 21 patients, 19 cases were found interoperatively to have uh, a higher risk of rupture based on the thinning of the wall. Two cases has uh, had uh, an uh, atherosclerotic wall, and uh, in this case, we can uh, say that 90% of cases, low wall shear stress wa was able to predict the uh, potential rupture risk in the near future. This is a case, one case, uh, preoperative findings. We, we can see the aneurysm of frontal wall. And uh, these are computed, uh, computed uh, fluid dynamics, computational fluid dynamics uh, data, the high wall high pressure and uh, low wall shear stress we can uh, find in this in investigation. And here we can find uh, the high oscillatory shear index in the neck part of the aneurysm and uh, the con vector convergence in this part. Interoperatively, we can find the pinning of the wall of the aneurysm endoscopically and microscopically. The next case is uh, uh, also the anterior wall aneurysm cases. Interoperative, we can find the thinning of the wall and uh, the low wall shear stress and the high wall, high, high pressure. These, uh, these uh, uh, parameters, we uh, can say that uh, we have uh, correlation between the interoperative findings and the computational fluid dynamics parameters. As a result, we can say that uh, low wall shear stress of the aneurysm and uh, high wall pressure uh, they are correlating associated with thin wall aneurysm and they increase the risk of aneurysm rupture. The CFT can be used uh, the, um, as a informational, uh, additional information to predict the risk of rupture of unruptured aneurysm and for planning of the treatment. Some discussion uh, from the literature, Neura 2010, uh, this group uh, investigated the relationship between the aneurysm dome and oculometer nerve. In this case, you can see the uh, oculometer nerve and aneurysm dome. And uh, in this uh, investigation, he, def uh, he gives some definitions. Uh, this is a dome, aneurysmal dome. This is a contact, contact zone and contact point. And uh, he said that uh, uh, in this case, uh, 
uh, showing the contact uh, of the aneurysmal dome and the uh, oculomotor nerve has some uh, high pressure, high, high pressure, uh, and uh, the streamlined flow changes. In this case, we can see the streamlined flow around the blood is going, uh, showing the irregular shape, and the opposite side is showing the linear line. That's uh, this author is uh, concluding that uh, uh, high wall, high wall uh, pressure and uh, uh, irregular, irregular streamlined flow gives us information about the rupture risk. Murayama, as my uh, colleague mentioned before, uh, about uh, gives some uh, information about uh, uh, parameters of safety in some, uh, uh, some authors. For example, Castro gives a high voltage stress only, and the other authors gives low voltage stress can uh, can be the predict prediction for an aneurysm rupture. At the conclusion, uh, we can say that the CFD and its co correlation with intraoperative findings of the aneurysm suggests that the low voltage stress of the aneurysm wall is associated with thin wall aneurysm, and hence increases the risk of an aneurysm rupture. The safety can be used to predict the risk of rupture of uh, unruptured aneurysm and for planning of the treatment. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Any uh, very good presentation, uh, Farouz. Um, any questions or comments from the panel? Uh, let me get you off the screen share there.